Okay, I'm gonna teach you today a little movement that is gonna create all the right skills necessary to become a great golfer. And it doesn't matter whether you're a professional on the, on the tours or whether you're just a weekend warrior. This little move is gonna help you play better golf, promise. Come on, let's go do it. <laughs> Okay, so this little movement that I'm going to teach you, okay, it's, it's a very simple action and it's something that um, I've done a video on before and it got quite a, quite a bit of a stir to be honest with you because people loved it. People were sending lovely comments back saying, you know, this is it's just simplified the whole game. It's just made it 10 times easier. I've, you know, nobody's ever explained it like this before to me. Um, and it, it, it's a skill that most golfers, I don't know, don't pay attention to and they don't practice it, all right? And it's something that you should spend a bit of time practicing on because it's gonna generate a lot more club head speed. You're gonna strike the ball beautifully. You're gonna have more club head control. And I don't know, overall, it's just gonna improve you as a golfer, especially if you're a mid to high handicapper, all right? And what is this movement? Well, I've been doing it throughout the whole intro, okay? And we call it the look cool drill, all right? And it's, it's where you're just swinging and you're isolating down from one arm to the other. And I'm just allowing the club head to swing back, release, and swing down and through. I'm allowing the hinge, the wrist to hinge, unhinge, and hinge up on the way through. I'm creating angular acceleration. That's a fancy word, isn't it? But I'm creating that angular momentum or angular, angular movement, which is just gonna create natural club head speed. The club head is now moving faster than me and my body, my hands and arms. That creates club head speed, all right? And I can do it with both the right hand and the left hand. Now, one of the key things that you're gonna notice here is I'm hardly using my body. I've made that even harder by crossing my legs, all right? And we call it the look cool drill, because you'll often see, you know, players on the TV, you know, they're standing on the first tee, that they're on the tee and they're waiting for, you know, the players ahead to play the shot, and they're standing there just doing this, all right? But it's a, it's a movement, it's a feel pattern, all right? And they're almost instinctively training their swing, naturally, without even trying, okay? There's no body involved. And one of the things that I see a lot of amateurs get too involved with too soon, too early, and I'm not saying it's not the right way to do it, is they get the body involved too soon, too quick, okay? They're, they're, they've been told by other coaches and their playing partners, you, you've, got to, you've got to turn the body through, you've got to, got to lead with the hips and the hips have got to fire off quick and they've got to, that's what creates speed and power and so on. Not necessarily. Uh, there's some great books out there, a book by uh, Jim Flick, uh, there's also Bob Tosky, um, and Mike Malaska. They've, they've all done some great books where they talk about how the club head needs to swing and the momentum of the club head needs to release. And one of the things I was very fortunate to have a lot of time with a gentleman called George Will, and he taught us this thing called you have to disconnect in order to reconnect, all right? And this was just about having freedom of the arms moving. Okay, John Jacobs, another one, I'm throwing all these names in here. You know, he used to talk about how the arms have to swing past the shoulders, the body, in order to hit the ball further and, and, and with control, okay? We see so many amateur golfers, because they're so tight up here in the shoulders, that they get the shoulders and they heave with the shoulders and they come over the top and, and they slice the ball and then, they, then their friends are saying, oh yeah, because you're not using your, your, your body correctly and you've got to now slide the hips in here and, and oh my gosh, it just goes on and on and on. The club head wants to swing in a circular motion. It wants to work that way, so let it. So one of the key things is, is just to hit some shots, just one-handed, okay? So, and you can combine this up with another thing that we work on, which is called the L to L. And you can do this, okay? You can just basically stand here, one hand, isolate it down to your left hand first, I've got my grip on, always stronger grip. And I'm just gonna swing it back and to this point here. My left arm is parallel to the ground, back of my left hand is, is flat, and the club has created an L shape here on the backswing. I will then release it, okay, my wrist unhinge, Okay, the club head pivots down here somewhere. Okay, hit the ball, I can find my low point, and then I'll hinge it up again on the follow through. Okay, it's just a mirror image of what I did on the way back. Wrists are re-hinged, back of my left hand is actually facing towards me, um, not down to the ground, because that involves um, rotation of the forearms. And I'm just doing that, so I'm just back and through. This also helps me to locate my low point because I'm, I'm hitting the ground, I'm allowing the club head to reach out and hit the ground. We see a lot of golfers struggle with low point. You know, they, they struggle to, 
to, to either hit behind it or in front of it, they, they struggle with that area because they don't allow the club head to release and reach its full potential. All right. Same on the back swing, hold down the, on the right hand, sorry, just swing back, hinge the club up to here, wrist is fully hinged back on itself, club has reached a, an L shape here. I then release it and then release it on the way through. Back and release and I'm clipping the ground every time I do this. My body is very, very static. I'm not, I'm not keeping it dead still because it breeds in tension, but it's moving, it's more or less coming along for the ride as opposed to me steering it for the ride with the body, all right? I can then chuck in both hands, L to L, okay? L to L. And hit balls doing this. You can tee it up, make it easy for yourself, okay? And also, don't be a hero. Don't go for the long shot straight away and the full swings and so on. Just stand there, do a few swings, back and forth. And you can even start off by just hitting a few shots, just one-handed, you know, just back and through. Oh, I didn't catch that one great. Let's try that again. My left hand isn't as great. I need to work on it a lot more, but back and through, okay? Just allowing the club head to swing. I can then do it with the right hand. Ugh. Okay. I can then do it with the right hand, just allowing the right hand to swing back and forth. Ooh. Didn't mean to touch that then. Ugh. Swinging back and forth and just swing back and through and just clipping the ball off the tee peg. And just to feel that motion, all right? When you swing it one handed, you'll be inclined to not throw your body at it. All right, once I've done that a few times and I've got that, that feeling, I can then swing L, release it, let the club head just run into the ball through the weight of the club head swinging down, and then L on the forward swing, okay? And I can just hit shots doing this, nice and easy, nice and smooth, back and through, okay? This gives me some good club head speed without even trying, and the ball goes fairly relatively straight. And I'm just starting slowly, I'm not going full pelt here, okay? I'm just gonna hold the club nice and relaxed, back and through. Okay, the ball just flies off the face. Once you've done it a few times, then build it up, okay? Build it up, still on the tee peg. I'm still swinging at, what, 50% power, but I'm allowing the club head to, to freely swing through, really. But I'm basically just gonna, because the full swing is really just an L to L, but just extended, okay? So I'm just gonna do it nice and slowly, back and through. Okay, I can still feel that L to L swinging through. All right, sorry, it's a pain, the T-peg keeps flying off. So that's really what I want you to do. I want you to just practice doing a few L to Ls. Just feel that motion. Start off by doing the look cool drill and then just build it up and through. You're gonna create a lot more club head speed, a lot easier. Um, without much effort and this is what we want we want effective swings okay that's going to create effortless power so start off with the look cool drill do it i bet you've never done this before i bet you've never been told to do this before just stand in there just swinging one-handed allowing the club head the weight of the club to just swing back and forth put your hands in your pocket left hand back and through just feel how they feel once you've done this a few times okay you can then chuck on the right hand and feel that motion Okay, this is where golfers really struggle. They struggle with release. They're trying to hold the angles. They're trying to get the body to be involved. The, the hips have got to fire. They get, you know, oh, so many things. And they always lead you down the wrong path, okay? Stay nice and central, just swinging the arms back and forth. They have to almost disconnect from your body in order to swing freely, okay? We want the club to swing freely, not so much you steering it down towards the ball, keeping the arms straight and all this business. They'll do it. If they're relaxed enough and they're relaxing the shoulder joints, they will swing out freely and they will release the club head at the right time, okay? Just a little something for you. I do this every day. Uh, first time, I just fired up the, the camera, really. First time doing it. And I, I'd start off every single day and I do it, whether it's indoors or outdoors, uh, I just practice my, my little one-handed chip shots. Um, I've always done this. I just start with one-handed little chip shots and I just swing back and through just hit him i mean i've got an eight iron here you can start with a wedge if you want to but i just swing back and just swing through just get a feeling of the club head working through body not involved hardly involved at all all right 
So that's really what I want you to be working on. Try that out, it's a skill, it's a skill set. If you can't do it, um, you know, after 20 shots, then keep at it, all right? Just shorten the swing down a little bit, do little ones, okay? If you can't hit the ball from two foot to two foot with the swing, there's no way you're gonna do it with a big, you know, 16 foot swing mark, okay? You gotta try and just start off slow, okay? It's a skill level that you need to learn. Once you learn it, I promise you, your, the whole swing will just become easier and you'll find that you've got more speed, more power with less effort, okay? Isn't that the, the thing that we're all after? Anyway, I hope that helps you. So there you go. It's a little movement and it sounds like it's not gonna do much for you at all, but I promise you it will, all right? If you practice this, I promise you, you'll find the golf swing will feel a lot more fluid, a lot easier, and be less stressful on all the joints, especially your back joints and so on. And the club will swing on the right path as well. It won't be so much out to in and into outs and so on, because you're not overusing the body too much, okay? Too much emphasis is put on the body first. Now, if you're a tour player, yeah, great, do it, all right? You know, you, you need to learn to use the body correctly because you're probably too active with your hands. But most amateur golfers, 95% of you, you need to learn to swing the hands and arms first. Once you get that right, then you can start to apply the body correctly, all right? Work on this, I promise you. I'm sure I've seen other videos on this. Go and check them out. But thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe this. It will help me out massively. I think there's 84% of you not subscribed. Please, if you can subscribe and hit that little red button down there, I really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next week.